Alright guys, welcome to this quick little tutorial I wanted to make on how to link or unlink the linked sets in a Dead by Daylight. So this glitch has been around for a couple of months now, but I never knew how to do it. Um, I figured it out like a couple of days ago, and originally I didn't really plan on making a video on it, because I didn't really want the devs to know about it, because um, that will probably result in a fix. Um, the second thing is that it might have been bannable, but just uh, an hour ago or so, Behavior has actually confirmed that they won't ban people for doing this. So it's safe to make this video now, and it's safe for you guys to try this out. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so on to the um, actual tutorial now. Uh, let me just clarify that this does work on any linked set that is in the game currently, on both uh, sides, so both on Survivor and on Killer. Um, I will show you how to do it once we're actually in a lobby, because it is impossible to do the glitch while you're queuing up or while you don't have a lobby yet. Um, so, I mean, I can tell you now, the way it works is basically you have to spam from left to, left to right, um, starting on the linked piece. Uh, if you want to change the headpiece, you have to start on the, the head, obviously. Um, so you start on this, and what you do, what I do, is just I spam X, or well, if you're on PC, you would spam your uh, mouse click, your M1. Um, and basically, you just go from left to right over uh, three cosmetics, I'm pretty sure you have to do. And you just kind of spam it, and all of a sudden it's going to bug out, and you're going to have this headpiece uh, over the linked cosmetic piece. Uh, but I'll show you in a second. Alright, we just found a lobby. So uh, let's say I want to change the top. I don't want to use this top for some reason. It looks really good, but you know, let's just change it for now. It may take a couple of tries, but basically what you want to do is uh, spam from left to right. Starting from the link piece. There you go. Didn't take me that long. And now you're literally just free to change whatever. Uh, but obviously keep one of the... I have kept the trousers for now. Um, so, so yeah, if you play the game, you will look like this. If you back out in the lobby, uh, you will still look like this. Um, so it's pretty simple. And also, uh, while you have the, uh, the separate piece, uh, you are free to change whatever you want in this lobby. Uh, you can just change whatever you want from the headpiece and the top. Um, just bear in mind that, uh, well, not all of them will look equally as good, but because they're not supposed to go together, obviously. Uh, so you might have to just experiment and see what looks good and what doesn't. Uh, for Nia, for example, I've seen that these uh, recolors work pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you want to change the pants, then you can, but it's just gonna reset, obviously. Um, and you cannot select from this menu, if you clicked on a link piece, it will just give you the, the thing back, like the complete thing, and then you kind of have to do it all over again. But as you can see, it's not that difficult. I'll just uh, switch the killer real quick to show you that it's uh, possible on there as well. All right, my dudes, now take a look at this masterpiece. How amazing does this look? Uh, I'll just show you quickly how it's done. It's literally the same thing. So obviously it comes from this set. This is the only killer linked set I own currently, so I can only show it on Legion, but I can uh, confirm that it works on any killer. Alright, let's say you really want to keep the the bunny ears. want to change this. Same thing, just spam left to right over three cosmetics uh, until it works. Shouldn't take too long. Almost had it then. Okay, there we go. Took a bit longer than expected, but as you can see, I'm wearing the, the Susie sweater right now. Uh, and I can change the weapon if I want to as well. Or I can uh, put it back, but then I'm back on the set. So for this, you can also change the head, obviously, and keep the, the body, keep the weapon. You can only change the weapon if you like. 
Um, but it's not that difficult. It might take a couple of tries. Um, see, there you go. You can actually play the game like this. I've done it. Um, I faced a streamer and uh, it's very funny from their perspective to see this. So yeah, that was basically it. Um, I don't think there's much more to say besides uh, just experiment with it. Some uh, cosmetics might, might look good. Some combinations might look really bad. Um, or just really funny, you know? A floating mask over uh, the bunny top. So again, you are free to change uh, whatever you like here. But just don't click on the linked unless you want to reset the fully linked piece. But this looks uh, golden in my opinion, this is just hilarious. And there's even more, you can also uh, preview the cosmetics in the store. That will uh, also remember what you have on currently. So let's say you want a new mask, like, like this, you can just see how it looks, what it looks like. This is what I currently have on Kate, so I'm using the headpiece from the Oktoberfest set. But you can just uh, see what things would look like without the headpiece going away. Alright, and that's the end of the video. As I said, um, it does work with any linked set in the game, so that's very cool. Um, so if it was helpful, drop a like, like I dropped Shack Palette. And, uh, you know, it would mean a lot if you uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more content. I do have a Twitch as well, which you can follow. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions about uh, this bug or anything about the game, really, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I'll show you some uh, creations at the end of this. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.